Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Cicada Club, broadcasting around the world here from Los Angeles, California, America's greatest fall playground, where tonight we present to you Richard Halpern's Roaring Twenties Review. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, if you will, the Prince of Pep, Mr. Tin Pan Alley himself, Richard Halpern. Thank you, folks. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. Thanks to all of you. Look at all these lovely dancers we have here tonight, all right? And uh, we're broadcasting this all over the whole world, so everybody wave to all the people at home, okay? So welcome to the ro yeah, where I'm pointing, right over there. You can wave at me, too. It's all right. I've got an ego, so that's okay. <laughs> all right, folks, this is what it's all about. What do you say, sir? Let me sing a funny song with crazy words that roll along. And if my song can start you laughing, I'm happy, so happy. Let me sing a sad refrain of broken hearts who loved in vain. And if my song can make you crying, I'm happy. Let me croon a low-down blues to lift you out of your seat. And if my song can reach your shoes and start you tapping your feet, I'm happy. Let me sing of Dixie's charms, of cotton fields and Mammy's arms. And if my song can make you homesick, I'm happy. Let me sing about it, folks. Let me sing a funny, funny song with crazy words that roll along. And if my song can start you laughing, I'm happy. Yes, I'm happy. Folks, I love to sing those sad refrains of broken hearts who loved in vain. And if my song can start you crying, I'm happy. Oh. I love to croon those low-down blues To lift you right out of your seat And if my blues can reach your shoes And start you tapping your feet I'm happy I love to sing of Dixie's charms The cotton fields and my mammy's arms And if my song can make you homesick I'm happy Let me sing just let me sing, and I'm, I'm a happy. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. You're listening to the wonderful sounds of the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. All right, I think it's wonderful. Give these boys a nice hand. All right, you can do better than that. Yes, of course. All right. Now we're going to sing a lovely song right out of the 1920s, because that's where you are right now. This is called Bye Bye Blackbird. What do you say, gentlemen? Dance floor is open. Come on, folks. Pack up all my cares and woe. Here I go, singing low. Bye bye. Blackbird, where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet, so is she. Bye, bye, Blackbird. No one here can love or understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all had me. I make my bed and light the light. I'll be home late tonight, Blackbird. Bye bye. What do you say, boys? Blue Serenade.
I back up all my cares and woe. Here I go, singing low. Bye, bye, blackbird. Now where somebody waits for me, sugar sweet, so is she. Bye, bye, blackbird. Oh, no one here can love or understand me. Oh, what hard luck stories they all have. I make my bed and light the lights. I'll be home late tonight, Blackbird. Bye, bye, Blackbird. Bye, bye. Thank you, folks. Bye, bye, Blackbird. Thank you. That's great. Terrific. Now, here's a song that was made famous by Baby Rose Marie. Now, many of you remember her from the Dick Van Dyke Show. How are you, dear? Good to see you. See, these are the, this is the couple to watch, all right? Because they know how to cut a rug, right? Let's give them a hand. <laughs> now, when Rose Marie was just a, a little child, she... What's that? Are you waving? Are you, oh, you're waving? Yes, I know. I'm getting all these glances from the audience. And thank you. Mm. <laughs> when Rosemary was just a child, she was a big star in the vaudeville circuit. And uh, she did some recordings. And this is one of my very favorite ones from the early 1930s, 1932. What do you say, sir? Take a picture of the moon. Do you ever get a disappointment Just because the moon don't shine Do you ever sit around and mope Frown a little bit and give up hope Well there's a way to keep your love appointment Even though the moon don't shine Should yours be a case like this Try this plan of mine Take a picture of the moon above in May or June. Then you could make love morning, night, or noon by the light of the same old moon. Take a picture of the moon on high when it's in sight. Then you could keep dry on a rainy night when you feel like you'd like to spoon. You'll have the proper atmosphere when you cuddle near someone. Take out that little photograph you could love and laugh at the blazing sun. Take a picture of the moon above in May or June. Then you could make love morning, night, or noon by the light of the same old moon. Take a picture of the moon above in May or June Then you could make love morning, night or noon By the light of the same old moon Just take a picture of the moon on high when it's in sight Then you could keep dry on a rainy night When you feel like you'd like to spoon You'll have the proper atmosphere when you cuddle near someone. Just take out that little photograph you could love and laugh at the blazing sun. Take a picture of the moon above in May or June. Then you could make love morning, night or noon by the light of the same old moon. Thank you, folks. That, that sounds a little bit like there ought to be a moonlight savings time, doesn't it? For you diehards out there that know every one of these songs that I'm singing. So you could say that's a little bit similar to that. So what do we have next? Is this the next one? These hungry... Oh, yes, I, I've been singing so much that, uh, that uh, actually, you know, oh, yes, we have a, an, 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 an orchestration song that's coming up. Do you have the title of that one? Is it? 
This is called Glad Rag Doll, as rendered by the Blue Serenaders Orchestra. So what do you say, gentlemen? What do you say? One, Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Serenaders. And how about a nice round of applause for those two kids out on the dance floor. Yes, they sure know how to drag a sock, I'll say. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring to the microphone one of our very special guests this evening. Here she is, the booba doop girl herself, ladies and gentlemen, the delightful Ginger Polly.
Ginger Polly, and she's going to be back soon to sing more for you. Wow, she's a tiny little girl, isn't she? But a large voice and large talent. Look at that. There we go. So, what do we have next, gentlemen? Oh yes, you know what? All that that singing and dancing around and stuff made me made me so hungry. But there's nothing I can do about it because I'm broke. I'm busted. I haven't got a cent to my name, and uh, this is why. I'm telling you. I'm starving to death. It's awful. Broke again, gentlemen. I am ruined now. Wall Street's not to blame, nor the racing game. I have spent every cent. Let me tell you how. Listen, one and all, to the cause of my downfall. Hungry women, hungry women. I feed them and weep. They never eat cheap. All those meal hounds eat like real hounds when they eat with me. They're out on a spree. They have cute faces and cute figures, but the real question is where to find one who has got a cute indigestion. Hungry women, hungry women, I feed a man weep. Hungry women, hungry women, whenever we meet, it's when do we eat? Then they pitch in and clean the kitchen. What I'd like to know is where does it go? I saw a great magician doing wondrous feats. He saw the woman in half, gave me the half that eats. Oh, hungry women, hungry women, I feed a man weep. La la. A girl with just two teeth and took her to supper. Twas just my luck. Her lower tooth met with the upper. Hungry women, hungry women. I feed a man weak. <laughs> Thank you, folks. That's great. That song made me hungry. Did that dancing make you hungry, or have you already eaten it? What do you think of the food here at the lovely Cicada Club? Huh? Let's hear it. Yes. Well, we're going to bring to the stage right now a couple more special guests. They are they are just married, so uh, this is the, probably their their first show as husband and wife. Maybe second. I don't know. All right. So please welcome to the stage, and they're self-contained. All right. That's a musician's turn. 
self-contained, right? Please welcome to the stage the Barleyers of Bilgewater, David and Claudia Rose. Take it away, folks. Boy, this place is great. If only Zakata Club was every night. It's you know, too bad last night I was I doing was... my hair last night. Yeah, and I was bored out of my mind. Nothing to do. Nothing to do. Night after night. Evening, all the evening, how I hate it when the sun goes down. What do you do in the evening when you don't know what to do? Little play a game. Every night is just the same. What do you say if I tell you how to keep on feeling blue? Water. That's David and Claudia Rose, just married. Congratulations, my dear. You'll be back a little bit later, won't you? <laughs> Sorry. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> Wasn't that nice? Give them another hand, folks. That's great. You know, we've got birthdays in the house tonight. Did you know that? Denny Hardwick on the banjo and the guitar. We do. This lovely table right here, she's celebrating her 21st birthday. Stand up, darling. Stand up. There she is. That's right. Everybody's 21 at the Cicada Club, right? That's good. So I hope you're enjoying the show. You look regal. And over here, this gentleman over here, he's celebrating his 21st birthday. This gentleman right here. Stand up. Give him a hand. Come on. 
And Laura Brody, his birthday's coming up, I think, tomorrow, right? Thursday, and mine is Wednesday. So, oh, we have another birthday over here. Who's the birthday on this side? Is it you and the lady in red? Ah, oh, she's a lady in red. Whose mother? Whose mother is it? She's the niece of the Smothers Brothers. That's a Smothers niece, then. The Sm that's wonderful. But this is the 1920s, so we don't have the Smothers Brothers yet. But they're going to be great in about 40 years, you know? Right, right. What's that? Yes, they will. Look at you're lovely. Look at this. I want you to come forward to see how beautiful this is for the folks at home. All right. Oh, my God, look at you, dear. Wow. <laughs> I want to encourage you to celebrate each day as a gift. Yeah, Life is a blessing. That's all right. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, dear. I just got my gift right now. Thank you, love. That's What was your name? Alexandra Smothers. Let's give her a big hand. Thank you, darling. Happy birthday. Right. Wow. Oh, we have somebody else coming up. Ooh. No more for her. She's driving. All right. What do you want to say? Your husband's just deserted you and it's your 33rd wedding anniversary. He's somewhere around with another woman. That's all right. We'll send him back. Okay, we'll fix it. Don't worry. See, anything can happen in the Cicada Club. It's all right. Thank you, dear. All right. Well, I think we should do a song to all these lovely girls that we have tonight. Some of them are having their birthdays. Some of them are just looking beautiful right here like this. All right, so uh, I think uh, the most appropriate song would be Ain't She Sweet. Okay, so what do you say, boys? <laughs> Ain't she sweet? See her coming down the street. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Oh, ain't she nice? Look her over once or twice. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she nice? Just cast an eye in her direction. Oh me, oh my, ain't that perfection? Some confection, I repeat. Oh, don't you think that's kind of neat? And I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? There she is, there she is, that's what keeps me up at night. Oh gee whiz, oh gee whiz, there's why I can't eat a bite. Those flaming eyes, that flaming youth. Oh mister, oh sister, tell me the truth. Come on, ain't she sweet? See you coming down the street. And I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Oh, ain't she nice? Look her over once or twice. And I ask you very confidentially, ain't she nice? Just cast an eye in her direction. Oh me, oh me, oh me, oh my, ain't that perfection? Some confection, I repeat. I don't you think that's kind of neat? And I ask you very confidentially, ain't she Sweet as sugar. That's great. Is that the famous Jonathan Harrison dancing around with Laura Brodian from K. Mozart? There's Laura Brodian from K. Mozart, everybody. There she is. Take a bow. All right. What's next? I have no idea. All right. Let's do it. Yes, I got it. Here's a song from 1924 with a lot of lyrics. All right. Ooh, I did this so tightly, I can't even do it. There it is. All right, perfect. A Jolson song. How many of you guys love Al Jolson? Let's hear for Al Jolson, huh? Right. Well, here's one song he did in 1924. So for you real diehard Jolson fans, this is for you. This is called My Papa Doesn't Two Time No Time. Hmm. <laughs> Aggravating papas, listen to Jenny Lee from down in Tennessee. Tell about her man. Come on, you lonesome little mamas. Hear Miss Jenny shout. Just hear her brag about her honey lamb. She had so much to tell. They heard Miss Jenny yell. Well, my papa doesn't two time no time. And if he ever does two time one time, then he's never gonna two time no more. 
I'm just a good time, mama, but gee, there'll be no two time, a papa for me, say if he goes away, he just goes so far. Cause he knows he better not go too far. Aggravating papas don't go far with me. What for? My papa does it two time, no time. And if he ever does two time, one time, then he's never gonna two time no more. What's more? I'd like to have a dime for every time he's gonna hit the floor. What's more? He'll have to get himself another little two by four. What's more, he'll never hear me singing anymore about the Swanee Shore. What's more, he'll find the undertaker undertaking all around his door. Believe me. Come on, boys, what do you say? Doesn't two time no time, and if he ever does two time one time, then it's never gonna two time no more. I'm just a good time, mama, but gee, there'll be no two time papa for me. Say, if he goes away, he just goes so far, cause he knows he better not go too far. Aggravate papas don't go far with me. What for? My papa does it two time, no time, and if he ever does two time, one time, then he's never gonna two time no more. Wow, wow, ow, ow. <laughs> so for that lady whose husband abandoned her, that's we're gonna that's gonna be her song, all right? <laughs> right? That's for you, dear. <laughs> He made it back just because we were singing that song. It worked. The power of music. Do you love the power of music? Yes. Feel the love. What's next? I have no idea. The band is going to render this wonderful song called Crazy Rhythm. With the emphasis on crazy from me and the emphasis on rhythm from them. But it's, a, it's, it's not a vocal. It's an instrumental. So what do you say, boys? That, 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 that. Come on, dance, folks.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Serenaders. Thank you, Serenaders. Just like to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's broadcast is coming to you courtesy of the Dumont Television Network, broadcasting across the nation and across the continents, across the Atlantic Ocean via cable to our friends in Europe and Africa. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to bring back to the stage the Prince of Pep. Here he is, Mr. Richard Halpern. Thank you, Mr. Maxwell DeMille. Let's have a hand for Maxwell DeMille for putting all this together every week here at the beautiful Cicada Club. See, we are not the same person, and now everyone knows. <laughs> So here's a song, a little bit of Billy Rose and Al Jolson. You can't get much better than that. From 1927, Me and My Shadow. Shades of night are falling and I'm lonely Standing on the corner, oh so blue Sweethearts having fun Pass me one by one Guess I'll wind up like I always do With only me And my shadow Rolling down the avenue Me and my shadow Not a soul to tell our troubles are to And when it's twelve o'clock We climb the stair we never knock For nobody's there Just me And my shadow All alone and oh so blue When the sun sets on the far horizon And the parlor lamps begin to glow Jim and Jack and John put their slippers on. They're all set, but we're still on the go. So lonely me and my shadow strolling down the avenue. Oh, I just get so sick of me and my stupid old shadow. Not a soul, not a soul to tell our troubles or two. And when I go out at night with my old pal, we never fight about. Just me and my shadow All alone and oh so blue Thank you folks, thank you very much. Is one of your favorites? All righty. I'm glad you liked that. Thank you so much. Who's back there? Oh! Oh, you scared the out of me, Maxwell DeMille. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Halpern. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Don't we have a special guest coming up? We have a special guest there? coming up, ladies and gentlemen. She's a very hardworking girl here at the Cicada Club. You might have seen her when you walked in. She's a wonderful Kochek girl, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, to keep her complexion beautiful and clear for her performances here at the Cicada Club... A word from one of our sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Hollywood personality Johnny Holiday.
Thank you, Mr. DeMille. And on behalf of Lever Brothers, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, we want to thank all of you for joining us this evening. So to make sure that your skin doesn't become parchment, use Lux three times a day. Remember, all of the great stars in Hollywood use Lux to maintain a glorious, radiant complexion. And isn't that what you want your husband to look at, ladies, when they come home at night? And now I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Johnny Holiday, And I see in the wings, and I do have three friends in Morristown that are watching. I want to tell you, this gal's got a nice set of pipes. And i got to tell you, it's something else. Legs that will not quit. The lovely, endurable, and I must say the most charming Miss Mather, who doesn't need Lux. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Johnny Holiday. And here she is, the one, the only, Miss Mather. Say, Miss Mather, isn't her complexion lovely? Because she uses Lux soap. It'll make her face as soft as a baby's behind, ladies and gentlemen, used by all the performers here at the Cicada Club, including Mr. Halpern. He uses it many places on his delightful body. Yes, indeed. Say, folks, while Miss Mather is... Uh, Deciding what she's going to be doing here, I'd like to let you know that next week here at the Cicada Club will be the one, the only, Jennifer Keith and the High Society Boys. And following that, our wonderful vintage Halloween party, October 26, featuring Dean Mora and his orchestra, 20-piece dance band. And it'll be lots of fun. And then, of course, swell shows throughout the month of November and, unfortunately, we will be closed for the entire month of December. So get here while you can, ladies and gentlemen. We only have a few more weeks left this year at the Cicada Club. But now, here she is, ready to sing for you. Ready to sing for you. Yes. Miss Mather. St. 
James Infirmary Blue. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Mather, your co check girl. Thank you. <laughs> and doesn't she have a lovely complexion, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks to Lux Soap. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you might be wondering about this wonderful building you're in right now. I'll bet you didn't know this was built in 1928, and it's still here. Because if it wasn't, I don't know where you'd be. You'd be in a parking lot right now. And here to tell you a little bit more about this building and how you could find out even more, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Chevalier. Thank you, Maxwell. I produced a documentary, a feature-length documentary, on the history of the Oviat building, which uh, you might not know almost became a Taco Bell. It really, really did. And uh, we are going to be showing a big screen version of this documentary, a big screening at the Egyptian Theater on Hollywood Boulevard next Saturday at 2 p.m. A lot of people are coming. You'll see Maxwell's Cicada Club right there in the documentary, and you'll learn a lot of secret things about this building. So I hope you'll come. There are flyers right outside the front doors on a poster. Pick up a flyer as you leave the Cicada Club tonight, and we'll see you next Saturday at 2 p.m. Before you leave, Mr. Chevalier, Mr. Chevalier, before you leave, could you tell us a little bit of trivia, a little tidbit about this building and its owner, Mr. Oviat? Just a quick little item, something the folks might like to his listen to. Okay, real quick. I won't tell you the really salacious stuff, but... Um, <laughs> Rudolph Valentino ordered about a half dozen suits from this place when it was a menswear store, and then he died. He didn't pick up the suits. Yeah, there you go. So, Stephen Fetchett, an African-American Hollywood actor, the first African-American Hollywood millionaire, he heard about this. He was the same size as Rudolph Valentino. He came in and he bought those suits at a discount. For the rest of his life, he showed off the fact that he was wearing Valentino suits. And there you go. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, just one of the strange but true facts you'll find out when you look at this wonderful documentary about the Oviat building, screening next Saturday at the Egyptian Theater on Hollywood Boulevard, where the stars wine and dine when they're not at the Cicada Club. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Mr. Tin Pan Alley himself, Richard Halpern. <laughs> I just went backstage and I washed my face with my Lux toilet soap. Doesn't look swell. I have a, a cherub, cherubic, cherubic, what's the word? Cherubic, that's a place in Mexico. No, uh, complexion now. So Step and Fetch, it was the original woman in black. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, okay, all right, thank you. We love it. Okay, so let's go on to, here's a song. This is called, I Can't Give You Anything But Lux, But Love. Thank you. Who's laughing? Thank you. I can't give you anything but love, baby. That's the only thing I've plenty of, baby. Dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness. And I guess all the things you've always pined for. Gee, I'd like to see you looking swell, baby. Diamond bracelets well worth doesn't sell, baby. Till that lucky day you know darn well, baby. I can't give you anything but love. What do you say, Blue Serenaders? Here's the 
birthday girls, right? So two birthday girls together. When you're wearing that hat, I have nothing but love for you. Let, come up here, darling. I want to see your lovely outfit. Turn this way. Look at you. Look at her. Give her a hand for her lovely outfit. I look terrific. All right. And now here's a song about the great state that we all live in right here, okay? This is called California, Here I Come from 1925. What do you say, boys? What do you say? <laughs> When the wintry winds are blowing and the snow is starting in the fall, then my eyes turn westward knowing that's the place that I love best of all. California, I've been blue since I've been away from you. I can't wait till I get going. Even now, I'm starting in the call. California, here I come, right back where I started from, where flowers, a flowers bloom in the spring, <laughs> each morning at dawn and pretty sing, and everything a sun-kissed miss said, don't be late, that's why I can hardly wait, open up that golden gate, California, here I come. Each morning at dawning birdy sing And everything a sun kiss miss said don't be late But that's why I can hardly wait Come on, open up, open up That golden gate, California Here I come Thank you folks California, here I come we're going to take a short break, and we will be back. You're listening to the lovely Blue Serenaders Orchestra. My name is Richard Halpern, and this is Richard Halpern's Roaring Twenties Review, right here, coming to you live from the beautiful Club Cicada in Hollywood, Los Angeles. It's near Hollywood. It's downtown. Come on, Maxwell, save me. Yes, folks, it's all Hollywood to those of us who live here. He uses Lux Toilet Soap, too. 
Thank you, Mr. Hopper, and getting closer than I would ever imagine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Halpern's Roaring Twenties Review, with all our wonderful guest stars, will be back after a short break so we can give the band a chance to get liquored up. I mean, to relax. For those of you watching our live broadcasts around the world, we'll be back in just a few more moments. And now, ladies and gentlemen, some recorded music for your dancing pleasure. <laughs> 